Hey everybody, it's Lori Guest here. We're wrapping up May, which is known as National Nurses Month. And each year I have the honor to be invited into hospitals and clinics to share a motivational message with the nurses who work there. But this year something special happened that I needed to share with you. I was invited into the Rutgers Cancer Center in New Brunswick, New Jersey. And there they have an annual event where they recognize two special oncology nurses. Nominees are put together by the staff, and here's a picture of the nurses who were nominated. And then two are chosen. And this event is put together through the Elizabeth Gibby Osborne Foundation, an endowment fund. Her husband put it together after she passed away in 2004. She was a patient at the center, and there are two things that she strongly cared about, service and education. So after my speech was over, a representative of the organization told the Elizabeth story, and I was very moved by it. They said that she made it a point to ask every nurse what his or her first name was, so that she could refer to them by first name every time she saw them. She also asked their birth date, so when their special day rolled around, you could be sure there was a birthday card waiting. And I think about the fact that all these years have passed, and yet they will tell the Elizabeth story every year in a lasting legacy way. I just think that is amazing. And I also love that it was peer nominated. So when it came down to it, there were two winners. Here's the picture of the 2018 winners. This is Navita and Lauren. And I'll also put a link in the copy where you can read an entire article about this special event. Why am I sharing it with you? Because I think there's three quick lessons here. We make a lasting impact through caring about people and what's important to them, their names, their birth dates, small things like that can go a long way for that lasting legacy. And the second thing is service matters. I am passionate about good customer service for our patients and all of the people that we are privileged to serve. And I congratulate Rutgers for making it an important piece of their annual event. Thanks for listening.